everybody. Welcome to another Rod Squad Retro Review. Today we'll be doing our first of a few segments that we'll be having from now on. It's going to be called Throwback, Throwback Thursdays. Thursdays. And today it's Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 for Classic. the PlayStation 2. Classic. Uh, we really want to get into this. Uh, we actually have Resident Evil 2 for the uh, uh, Nintendo 64 coming okay. today. Coming today. Yay! Best game ever. So we're going to go ahead and play it on Nintendo 64. But we wanted to uh, play with Leon in the... Uh, uh, Resident Evil 4, which is actually one of the best games I think ever yeah. in the Resident Evil series. It's very action-packed, very good. So we're going to go ahead and play Resident Evil 4, Throwback Thursday, Part 1, Throwback Thursday. It's uh, Lexi and Al. So we'll be hitting this. So uh, we hope you enjoy. And look out for the next videos. Thanks. Let's leave a comment. And subscribe for more. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start playing uh, Resident Evil Four. Let's do this. And um, let's see what happens. I guess right now they're talking about 1998, the actual storyline. Well, from the first game, well, being being this, that this is you know, this is definitely gonna take off Resident Evil. You think so? Yeah, technically it's like the secret viral experiment. Little little loud there, so I'm gonna Microsoft go ahead and lower it for you guys. Umbrella. There you go, Umbrella. Umbrella. Oh look, the pharmaceutical badass. The pharmaceutical badass. I still don't understand how no one notices how Umbrella is a, is like evil when these guys have a secret military. That's like Dwayne Reed having a secret military. All right, here, yeah, yeah, now we're now we're. Uh, there goes Leon. Six years later, he looks so different from Resident Evil 2. Well, remember, Resident Evil 2 is what we're really focusing on right now, but this is uh, Resident Evil 4. We just wanted to go ahead and hit this. I've never really got into Resident Evil, but um, I am building on my Nintendo 64. So uh, Resident Evil 2 apparently is one of the best versions ever. So. Yes, it is. You know, what, what is it with these cutscenes in some of these games? Sometimes, you know, they, I think they take a little fun out of the game because you got to sit here and really sit and watch this. This was back in 2005. When the cinematic was just getting out into the video game industry, so. yeah. Well, I think this is this is crazy. It's a little too much. I mean, this is it's not as bad as it is with like games now. Okay. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're running around some woods or something like that. Apparently, the storyline is we got to save the president's daughter or something yeah, like that. She was captured by an occult, apparently. Some kind of terrorist. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't know where they signed where the zombies and terrorists comes into it, but you know this is the world we live in. Yeah. All right. So pretty much the controls. What do you think about the controls of the game? Oh, they're they're not bad at all. I mean, even even now, being that people uh, would expect this me. to be dated, Sir? but it's not. I mean, the controls are pretty straightforward. All right. So we got some guy who's uh, fixing his fire, and this guy just you know we just walk into his house. Why not? Yeah, that's that's just good. We just walk into this house. We don't knock. We just say, hey, what's going on? Just walk in there. Now the guy to oh, I thought he was gonna be a zombie. He's I'm not a zombie. If you might recognize a girl in this photograph. All right. Now. So he's gonna curse him out, really? All right. I know a little Latin, so I can just tell you. He says, "What the hell are you doing here? Get the hell out of here, bitch." <laughs> Oops. Did I say that? Sorry. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut his ass off. <laughs> now, realistically, I don't care who you are, guys putting a gun at you, you're gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, but this is Resident Evil logic. Yeah, I can see. And we do a swift karate kick, and we shoot him in the head. <laughs> Alright, I don't know about you, but I can. Th I think that's a murder. The guy was on the floor, for God's sake. Alright, he was on the floor. He was not going to attack you at that time, and we shot him in the head. So that's murder. First of all, we're murdering people. And we're walking in their houses and taking stuff. Yeah, we're just walking in people's houses and just asking questions, and then if we don't like the answer, we, we kill them. <laughs> Wow, that's not the New York way of doing things. Interesting. Hey, look, the remade version of the Korean. Well, who the hell is this? A hostile local. I think that's his I no uh, partner. To neutralize him. There's still others surrounding She's from Washington, D.C. Get out of there right. and head toward the village. To me, the cutscenes suck. They take away from the game. Subject. Understood. Is Resident Evil 2 has the same type of cutscenes? No. Resident Evil 2 is the, one of the more old school ones, so it's just straight from the Game Boy. It's more than anything. Really? Yeah. All right, that's nice. There goes my dinner. <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't get hungry after watching a body full of maggots, huh? <laughs> hey, people just leave random bullets around, I see. And let me not walk down the stairs. I'll jump out the window. Why not, right? I'm badass. 
I'm not even gonna kill them. They're just a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy, yeah, the guy pulls out a thing on me. What was it? An axe? I just won't walk right by him. He doesn't say anything. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just going through people's things here. This is crazy. Yeah, stealing money. All right, here we go. Uh, all, right. all right, this guy. Ah, oh, he cuts me. He cuts us. <laughs> all right, I still don't get it. We're shooting at the guy, and this guy is sticking a rake at us. And we're okay with that. I, I don't get it. We're okay with it. It's, it's fine. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Okay, and <laughs> and we pickpocketed him. Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't understand how there's bullets around being that they don't have guns. Yeah, we just we're just shooting people and then uh, <laughs> this is crazy. Well, and we were pickpocketing him. Look, a dog looks like a wolf. It just runs out of there. And he just runs off. Yeah, he just had his leg caught in the trap. He's okay. He just he just takes off. No thanks. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's see. What are we doing here? Okay. Why is it always so spooky in these games? Yeah, it's, it's got a really gothic atmosphere compared to a lot of Hello. the other residents. This guy has every right to get angry at us because we're trespassing in his area and we kill him. <laughs> we don't even say anything. That's shoot first mentality. Well, that's just the American way of doing things, right? I hate to say so, yes. <laughs> All right, and herbs. If you guys don't get the uh, thought behind the herbs... That's how you get your energy, get it? Herbs? Yeah. Yeah, see if you can read between those lines. Yeah, because apparently, you know, it's normal to smoke some weed and get home. All right, they got somebody stuck on the wall there. Yeah, like a woman. Now, where is this exactly? I mean, there's no sun here. No, no, it's in Spain. So there's no sun in Spain right now? No, it's, it's just cloudy, like... All right, the guy's on the floor, yeah. we shoot him in between the legs. This is great. <laughs> and they die. And they die, of course. <laughs> those are real men. <laughs> Those guys, see, those guys are very snitches. At least, at least they could translate what they're saying to us. Let's be honest, okay? <laughs> All right, I get the gist of what's being said, but I don't think it's very nice. <laughs> Again, we go into, we trespass in someone's house. And we just kill them. And, and we just kill them. We don't even say anything. Shoot first mentality, guys. Yeah, just take the stuff. He had money there. So why and we took his money and his weapons. No gun. <laughs> The guy has ammo in his home, in his shack, but he's swinging an axe at me. You tell me what's up yeah, with that. Yeah, where are the guns at? Yeah, what, what's going on? It doesn't make sense. Oh, my God. Here goes the loading. You know, one of the things I could tell you about nowadays is just loading, but it's not as bad as nowadays. I mean, oh, it's ridiculous. Xbox, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. He's got a Bluetooth, obviously. Saw that? Leon, yeah. How you well, I think they had that in 2005. Well, I don't know what they had, but it I'm looks like... Hope you find it useful. Oh, take a look at it. Thanks. Was she serious? Yeah. A playing manual? All right, let's see. What are we going to do now? Now we got to go and get some kind of plane manual, whatever that is. And we're going through everything so here. So that just pretty much teaches you how to play, oh. which they kind of send it like how, like 10 minutes later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> After we've taken out half the uh, village. I mean, it should have been a tutorial mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we're going to spy through people's things here. All right, what's going on now? Okay, All right, we're so gonna. It look like they're farming, and there's a burning body. There's a burning body. Interesting. If that's not satanic, and I the guy keeps saying Mierda's. <laughs> Maybe you want to know what Mierda is. If you ever go to the bathroom in one of those times when your stomach hurts, what comes out is Mierda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so that's what they're talking about. Obviously, read they between the lines. You gotta take a note. All right, let's see. We're walking around the village here. People minding their own business. They're doing campfires. And the guy is really having trouble using the bathroom. We keep saying Mierda. <laughs> Again, Mierda. See, this guy, I tell you. You know, we would have been there here if you would have walked in there with some Maalox or something. We probably would have helped everybody out. Probably. Probably would have been friends. Here we go, taking some more herbs. Now, look at this poor lady. She's over there farming, and now we're going to shoot her. <laughs> I mean, really. Kick her. And we kick her in the back of the head after we blast her. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> this is a real badass. Yeah, because that's what you do. Here we go. And he's again. Now he's stealing that. He kills the woman, and he steals her jewels. Was it? No, that, that looked like a, a sack of money. Now this to me looks like a, a regular poor farming community, and we go in here and just start taking people out. Yeah, you tell this, me. And why is this guy robbing? Did you see that suede jacket he got on? Does he really oh need to steal my from God! He is doing it. <laughs> he's doing it. All right, he just called them bottles. All right, now we put, yeah, they, they, can, they can take bullets, but we'll put a dresser in front of the door to keep them out. 
you tell me <laughs> something's makes, wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something isn't right here, but you tell me. I don't know. Yeah, why don't we just barricade ourselves in somebody else's house? It's crazy. All right, let's see. What are we doing? We're walking around. We take some more clips. No one is using guns but us, but yet everyone has ammo. <laughs> Is there something wrong with this? I don't get it either, but there's a shotgun upstairs. There, uh, finally, something. And, and look, a guy has a grenade. Was that a grenade? Yes. Okay, now they also have grenades, but they're chasing me down with pitchforks, hatchets, axe, and here we go again. Nah, no need for the stairs. <laughs> yeah, just jump out the window. That's, that's the way you do it. It's just badass, right? Look at this guy. He's chasing me again. And here goes another lady with an axe. And she she actually hits us. She hits us. That hurt. That hurt. She was very offended we attacked her sister. Okay. I'm pretty sure he won't be coming back. <laughs> Neither will she. Okay, these guys are trying to come upstairs and we're just kicking their uh the ladders off from under them. Alright, what do we do now? We're getting trapped up here. Alright, so let's get some more energy. No, no, we're using a grenade now. I don't think it looks well for this crew. Okay, I don't think so. And it was, it happened behind him. The guy goes flying right by me. <laughs> I hate when that happens. And I didn't feel anything on that. Not at all. All right, let's see. And we shoot him in the ass. It and we shoot him in the sense. ass again. How is he still getting up? I'm not sure, but he is. He's being pumped with so much lead right now. Okay, all right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey! Is that Jason Voorhees? And uh, I guess that's off with our heads. No, I think that's the other face. All right, we finally, after many tries, we've gotten by that guy to cut our head off. <laughs> and um, we, uh, it was quite a, quite a lot of stuff going on there. We met a couple of different people, a Latin guy. Uh, looks like we're getting close to the first boss. Is this the first boss? Yes, it is. All right, we're going to fight some guys. They just threw some cop. What is it with these people against cops? I don't, I don't know. know. But um, looks like they're against the cops here, and they threw a dead cop into the water. And what the hell was that? What was that? I think he needs help from Chief Brood. Well, all right, so looks like we're going to have to get across that river somehow or that pond or something, right? Yeah, we better do it before we get arrested. All right, so what do we do now? We're going to... Uh, Grab some stuff, of course, because you're resident evil logic. You can't do anything until you grab stuff. Alright. Let's see. Herbs, bullets. Even though you don't need bullets for this boss. Honestly, you really don't need bullets for this boss. It's pretty straightforward and simple. That yellow herb. But Goes that herb again. But it's good to get to, to grab the herbs because the yellow one, especially if you mix it with the red and the green, it makes your health go a little bit more up. So it just makes you more overpowered, is what I'm saying. Cool. Makes you broken. All right, let me see. See, I mean, I like the Resident Evil, I guess, the Resident Evil uh, franchise. Um, a lot of RPG elements into this. Yeah. There is a lot of RPG elements uh, combined with horror survival and, and action and stuff, but. Um, I'm just, I'm just more of a point-and-click kind of guy. Well, nowadays, action is kind of involved in everything. I mean, no matter what you play, there's always some implement of action. So. Okay, it looks like you, we saved right there, right? That was a save? Okay. It's funny how they have working uh, uh, typewriters here. No ink ribbons. Interesting. All right, so now we're going to get on the boat, and we're finally going to uh, cross this, uh, this lake, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be a nice ride. I don't see a sun. I still don't see a sun. No one water skiing. Uh, I have. I don't see any birds. This, this is a pressing place. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's going on here? I guess that's what was uh, what grabbed that cop, huh? Yep. Okay. Great. He's about ten times as big as me and the boat that I'm on. And, and I'm out of all of that, he does not fall off the boat. This is incredible. Look at this. Look at this. Because apparently, if you fall off the boat, you know, you suck. But here, they're just they're just pointing out that you know, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I guess not. All right, look how big this thing is. All right, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, let me get some harpoons. Why not? Stick it right in his ass yeah, right there. Apparently, there conveniently happens to be harpoons on the boat. And there's enough harpoons there to kill this thing, I guess. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> 
just like a limited camera. This is awesome. All right, so let me shoot him in the ass again. I mean, I wouldn't be happy if I was him either. Okay, now I fall into the water here. What's going on? Uh, let me press that X button. No! Okay. All right, we did it. He's not too happy. Okay. All right. All right. Hold, hold, wait, relax, relax, pal. All right, here we go. All right. So now uh, it's chasing, it's pulling us around, and it's funny how the uh, the motor's still working. Yeah. How is that? Okay. Notice how the boat is moving with our directions. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that interesting? I guess we're connected to the boat. <laughs> You got him right there. Stick him again right there. Just keep on hitting them until he dies. It's, okay. it's that basic. All right. All right. Now, what is this? Some kind of uh, uh, biological uh, experiment that they it did with something? Like a fish that got mutated. Looks like a tadpole. A giant tadpole, a actually. A tadpole? Yeah. That big? Yeah, but look at the face. Look at the. It looks like a, a like a giant tadpole. Okay. Uh -oh. For some reason, we're always taking a dip. Right, here we go again. Uh, hey, hurry up. You know, it's coming. Uh, you know, Take help. I'm guessing a turbo controller right now would help. Yeah, definitely. Especially in these times. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now it's all right. All right. And here we go again. How many times we got to hit this thing? Enough. I don't think it's the really exact number. It's all right. You know, we're making it very difficult for this poor creature to use the bathroom. We keep shooting him in the ass. All right. Okay, here we go. Again. Spraying blood. Yeah, and, and we're not getting any on us. Interesting. Yeah, we're so clean. Maybe it's because we keep falling in the water. Yeah, yeah I guess. <laughs> Can you imagine the but the blood is in the water, too. Okay, where is he? Now, watch the boat. Watch the boat. Look, the boat moves with us. <laughs> we are one with the boat. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are one with the boat. They couldn't have thought of it just moving us. Okay. Oh, I think it's dead. We got him. We got him. Take that. Man, that was like five seconds. Jerk. <laughs> Sucks. That ball is fine. too disappointing as hell. Okay. Of course it couldn't have ended easy, right? No. Yeah, you know how... Now it's stuck to me. Great. Okay. All right, all right. All right. All right, come on. Let go. Let go. Oh. Uh, you know, all in all, I gotta admit that the uh, the little the little cutscenes are not that bad as long as they're not very long. When they when they take too long, then they take the fun out of the actual gameplay. Well, the Metal Gear Solid series. All right, so that's the. Um, all right, so we. This is the first part, and that was the first boss of Resident Evil Four. Uh, Thursday's uh, throwback. Uh, look for uh, next week's uh, next week part here. Uh, we're just going to uh, what do we pass out here? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think he got sick. You know, we pass out and we save, right? He got seasick. Okay. He was then, on that we're shaking boat for a long period of time. All right. Well, uh, watch for uh, throwback part two next week. Subscribe. Uh, Rod Squad Retro Reviews. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.